Mr. Trippier, thank you for the time. Uh, obviously, the 6X and the 10X are two key programs. Could you give us a quick update on where you see those programs are right now? Yeah, the 6X is supposed to, to be certified beginning of next year, 2023, and uh, we'll be in service mid-2023. It's uh, 5,500 nautical miles. And now we have four developments uh, aircraft flying. We have the number four who is with us today in Orlando, who made the tour worldwide in order to uh, uh, check the maturity of the equipment, of the aircraft, of the environment uh, everywhere. And we are more than satisfied with uh, the results and the uh, return of experience we had during this tour. So it's really the last uh, uh, six months before delivery, and uh, we are more than uh, focusing on the on the reaching the target for that time. On the 10x, we are still in the development phase. We are under <laughs> manufacturing the first one. We finalize uh, studies, the general studies. We are really now in development. Uh, we are working well with our engine uh, manufacturers, which is uh, Rolls Royce uh, in Germany, and uh, that's uh, going well. Uh, which, you know, uh, we, we need an engine to fly and uh, we, we are focusing already on what is the status of the engine developed in some time and uh, we, we expect the performances uh, to be totally in line with our specifications. And of course, uh, sustainment is a, always a big subject here at MBAA, particularly this year. Um, with Dassault's focus on, obviously, SAFs and introduction of new fuels, do you also see the potential for new designs that are in the future that are perhaps more electric, a bit like what you're studying under the Clean Aviation Program? Yes, that's right. We are working on different uh, roadmaps. Uh, one is a pure technological roadmap on architecture of future uh, aircraft, whatever they are, in order to try to find out the best uh, compromise. Uh, we are working with our colleagues of the engine manufacturers because uh, without engine, as I said before, you can't do anything. Uh, how they will uh, find uh, new ways to develop and to uh, uh, secure, uh, safe uh, and uh, everything, uh, consume less fuel. Uh, we are working on the software to uh, optimize uh, the routes and uh, routing uh, to save also fuel. But we believe really in the company that if we want to have a breakthrough in a very short term or medium term and to be in line with the IQ uh, recommendation of the old uh, carbon emission in 2050, we really need to uh, fit uh, the SAF. And the SAF, we encourage, we are part of some consortium to uh, the promotion of the SAF, which may be Green SAF or ESAF, uh, in order really to start with a decrease of carbon emission immediately, which we already did with uh, flying with 30% uh, blend uh, uh, fuel. So I think this is really the way of decreasing totally the carbon emission for uh, these agents.